Mashiachir knowing a Magnus opus by Karl Yehuda Ben Gidi knowing the creator of the universe this can only truly ever be done by personal contact from the creator or by allegories and mental conceptions on the infinite reality of existence it is well known by Jewish mystics that the creator is existence but this is a simplified model theory is much more than meets the eye if we were able to travel to the very edge of the known universe we would be moving at the same speed it is expanding meaning and truth the creator would prevent us from ever reaching this reality because all of creation exists within the consciousness of the creator from the creator's viewpoint. There is just the creator and absolute nothingness because the creator is one and everything that exists in inside this nothingness being the creator's consciousness which just is beyond any kind of understanding however. The creator has a very good reason for the creation, that everything exists within the physical and spiritual universe can from the creator viewpoint in human terms be seen as tools of a machine. The purpose of creation is to act as a kind of GUI or graphical user interface for the creator's mind. I am using a kind of updated language for deeper spiritual conceptions or mission. If we choose to accept it is to work with the creator of the universe, to drill down into physical and spiritual reality the creator is able to experience our lives, dreams, achievement, failures, and even horrors in our lives, countries, and nations on the earth and even in other parts of the universe through other forms of life he is able to have free will in the universe, to be the only force behind both good and evil because, without good and evil in the world, mankind would have no free will at all the creator was with the world through all the stages of evolution science has discovered, and is obviously with us, and in us all today it is just he conceals himself, unless he wishes it otherwise what about the garden of Eden it is, all true, but with massive amounts of, data, edited out the holy Torah often only gives the highlights for a very good reason, to allow the will and guidance of the Creator, to be followed by our own free will to my understanding Adam and Eve the parents of us all, when evolution reached higher consciousness levels so, that we then received an update from the Creator, and started to accumulate and build on our own knowledge of the world and reality in general at this point we started recording time the Holy Tour, records, the rest, until we reached modern, History the creator is behind every belief system in the world to mine deeper and deeper into different spiritual realities and experiences from mankind around the world very same process is also occurring elsewhere in the physical universe with one overriding goal for the creator to use the universe with his free will to experience a deeper an ever-expanding unfolding of his own kingdom the absolute pinnacle of this process will be the next holy temple in Jerusalem to truly understand the holiness of the final living temple you have to know the conservation of energy physics. A fundamental law of physics and chemistry stating that the total energy of an isolated system is constant despite internal changes. It is most commonly expressed as energy can neither be created, nor destroyed. Taking this understanding we can view the holy temple as converting physical and spiritual energy to drill deeper into existence, of both the physical, and spiritual, reality with us, working with our, creator, within the universe, we will bring about, all the prophecies given in the holy Tor, to all mankind. Hashem is not bound by time and space, and can always see the first and second temples still functioning right now, and in the future. The final temple also already exists in Hashem reality. So by studying the building of the holy temple, Hashem may manifest it to materialize right at this moment. Also, Hashem will be unconcealed in the world, and we will see, that he has been with us all along.